Hey friend, here's a viewer question from Jamie. Jamie writes this, I've never had a milk cow. Do you have to milk them every day or will they have problems if they aren't milked regularly? Just curious, Jamie. Well, Jamie, you've really got two questions there. Question number one, do you have to milk a milk cow every day? And question number two, do you have to milk a milk cow regularly? Well, the answer is um, yes. You have to milk a milk cow regularly, but that may not necessarily mean milking it every day. It really depends on the cow's production capacity. Now, at a commercial dairy, um, the calves are taken away from that mama within a very, very short period of time after calving, at least within three days. And after that, it's very important that you're going to milk that cow not only every day and not only regularly, but twice a day uh, at the same time because you don't want her to become engorged and mess with that lactation uh, cycle. And cows that are heavy producers and are very um, profitable cows are high producers and they could get engorged very quickly and have problems like mastitis and other other issues will set in if you don't get that milk out on a regular basis because there's no calf to do it. Now here on my farm, the cows that I have are, I'll just tell you right out, they are not high quality producers. And by high quality, I shouldn't say that. They are not high capacity producers. They are not heavy milkers. Uh, and they would, uh, they would be culled at a normal dairy. But for me, that works out great because I have less problems with uh, engorged cows or with um, generally less problems with mastitis because I'm not pushing them really hard. Here on my farm, I'm more interested in my own flexibility and the milking schedule than I am with uh, turning over a profit like you would at a con commercial dairy. I raise the cow and the calf together uh, until um, the calf is several months old and the calf actually becomes my milking partner so that uh, during a lactation cycle if I can't be there to milk uh, on a certain day the calf just takes all the milk from the mother for that 24 hour period and I only milk once a day and the calf is my partner really is milking the rest of the day so the cow never becomes engorged and never has so much that she's uh, hurting or in pain or, or starts to cause problems. For the first few weeks after that calf is born, the calf is running 24 hours with the mama. She takes whatever is normal and natural. And then every morning I go out, monitor the situation, make sure the calf is doing well. And I will take from the cow uh, whatever is left over. I do that every morning. That leads me to another question from a viewer named Kyle. Kyle writes, why do you separate the calf from the mama cow during the night? Well, Kyle, as the calf starts to get older and gets uh, maybe just a few weeks old, you'll notice that, or I notice that my milk production, what I take in the house is decreasing. Well, that's a good thing because that means the calf is growing, getting healthier and taking more as my partner taking more of you know his share of the milk. At a certain point when I go out there and I'm really not getting enough milk to make it even worth being out there, I, at that point in the evening time, about supper time, and that could be you know anywhere from uh, four o'clock to six o'clock, I might take the calf and separate it and put the calf in her own stall uh, with a little bit of water, maybe a little bit of hay, a little bit of feed. It, it's not eating a whole lot at that of, of hard foods at that point. And then the next morning, I'll go out and milk the cow who's a little more swollen. She'll have a little more milk in her. And depending, I watch the calf. If the calf uh, is you know struggling with growth or whatever, I might save a quarter or two depending on for the calf. Or if the calf is doing fine, no problems, I might take uh, pretty much all the milk. I may not strip it all out and then leave a little bit for the calf for a little morning you know snack or meal. And then the calf runs with the cow the rest of the day until supper time when it all starts all over again. That works very well for small farms because you can raise uh, the calf together with the cow and not be so pressed on a milking schedule. One last thing to remember that over the course of a lactation cycle, which lasts for several months, the production of the cow, the quantity of milk, 
uh, might rise there at first for you know the first three months and then kind of uh, plateau and then start to kind of taper down uh, toward her having the next calf. So the key to all this is observation. A good uh, husbandman, a good farmer watches his livestock, pays attention to everything that's going on, observes their well-being, their health, their alertness, their eyes, you know, tell a lot. So that is the beauty of being a, a husbandman, a, a good husbandman, a farmer uh, to your livestock. Maybe you'd like to join in the discussion. Feel free to do that in the comment section below, or maybe, maybe my rambling on, it's just brought up more questions. Leave your questions below. Do you have a question about another farm hands companion video or just something off the top of your mind? Uh, go to that video, leave your question there or leave your question here again. If I have time and if it's a good question, we'll try to answer it in upcoming installments of this, the Q and A show. And remember, please, Share these videos. If you like them, share them. It helps a lot. It really does. Thank you. I'm Paul Mack, and until next time, we'll talk at you later. ADM5223. This is hands down the best, most inspiring channel on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Although my wife might disagree when I start building my pole barn. Oh, I, I don't want to don't want to start a marital war there.